that feeling The sun in my face, it's so well needed Life will take care of the rest Biking alone in the sunset Through the canals or the mindset I needed Yeah, I needed Oh, let's freeze time Gather around, watch the sun go down Oh, in summertime Welcome back to part 10 of our single father challenge. So as you can see, we finally have a decent meal prepared for Titus who has been surviving off of cake for the last couple of meals. And let's be honest, it's not at all healthy. And we're gonna hopefully balance everything out with some salad for the next couple of meals. But you know, Titus being a kid, he's not complaining. He'll be happy to eat cake for the rest of his life. But that would just be screaming for diabetes when he grows up. All right, so I don't have anything planned for this part. So we're just gonna wing it and play through. Hopefully something exciting happens, which that's what I've been doing the last few parts. So it's been working out, but I'm still pretty disappointed with the whole unicorn situation last night and I did do a test run. We actually don't have to befriend all creatures. I think it's just any one of the three which is you know horse, cats, or dogs and we should be able to invite the unicorn to join our household but I think the fact that is we're we don't have that high of a relationship with the unicorn that's why he kind of refused. So you know hopefully by the end of this part we should be able to have him join our household but at the same time Heath is going to age up tomorrow so we need to come up with some serious cash if we want to live somewhere else and I'm you know pretty done with living in this spot since it does take forever for us to hit the main road to go anywhere and you know we don't have to be hidden anymore because he is an adult so you know a lot of things will be changing when um we move to the new house. All right, so this is pretty much the extent. Whoa, what is up with the graphic? Okay, maybe there's some lag. This is like Sims 2 graphic right now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, uh, okay. I like how everything looks pretty normal except Titus looking kind of choppy, looking like some Minecraft uh, quality here. <laughs> Uh, but like as I was saying, this is pretty much the extent of what's going to happen for the remainder of today. I will have Heath just do as much dumpster diving as possible. My game literally almost just crashed and I'm really hoping that it does not crash as we play for today's part. So keeping my fingers crossed. So as I was saying, this is pretty much the extent of what's going to happen for the remainder of Saturday. He will be dumpster diving until he gets extremely exhausted. Uh, Titus will be pretty much just building up his logic skill. And I may or may not pick up um, later on tonight or perhaps skip through until tomorrow morning. So you guys will just see. So I don't know what happened, but we came across so many good items. It was a little unrealistic, but I'm glad it did work out that way. So let's go ahead and check out what exactly did we actually find. All right, so we found some really good tables, uh, ingredient uh, processors, some dining chairs. 
Uh, okay, this is not worth that much. I was gonna get it smelted and cut. No, oh, not smelt, but get cut. Alright, how about this one? 66 simoleons. I don't know if it's really valued at that. Alright, let's double check. And we found sofa worth a thousand something. So overall, we came across more decorations, furniture, appliances than we did books. And actually, not just books. We did actually come across a few gems. All right, so let's get uh, let's see if this will be valued more if we get a cut. All right, um, I was going to hit up the pond area and see if the unicorn showed up but apparently he's not appearing or showing up tonight because usually all the wild horses tend to gather at this pond if the unicorn does show up which is like a sign for me to know he's there all right but i guess he's not there today so we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow all right come on actually let's uh collect this before you get some food Who? Of collect- oh, I was like, what the hell was that? Alright, so it is actually valued at 66 simoleons, or else let's get it cut anyways. Let's get a- Damn, a heart shape cup! We're gonna have to spend a thousand just to get a heart shape cup? Nah, let's just do an emerald cut for 10 simoleons. Uh, congratulations, Heath has mastered the gems and has completed the gem collector skill challenge. I didn't even know there was a challenge. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's what happened. So I did forget to mention about Tiffany's makeover at the beginning of this part. Um, she still pretty much looks the same, just you know, a little bit more matured, shorter hairstyle, and some skimpy outfits. But hey, that's her style. We're gonna let her be. But I didn't realize how much older she was compared to Heath. I believe they're like two days apart, which is not a big deal. But in sim time, that's a pretty big age gap. I don't know how that became to me since I did create both of them at the same time so I don't know what happened but also someone did have a birthday today which is Heath's brother Clyde he is now a full-grown adult with that nasty ass hairstyle <laughs> and thank you by the way for leaving a comment about this hairstyle in the last part I didn't know it was a default but I guess there's really nothing I can do I just gonna have to go into the stylist and change it every time when it's someone that we're related to. Alright, so I will be um, skipping through most of tomorrow. It's pretty much going to be a repeat of what you saw today. Except for when it's time to blow out the birthday candles for Heath. I swear, uh -huh. dumpster diving is so time consuming. I think we went at like 9 in the morning and... We already spent a good almost seven hours, which is kind of unbelievable. But this time around, we hit the jackpot. I think we only came across like, oh, what is that? Hold on. Something is blinking. All right, let's pick this up since it's blinking is probably means something. All right, so now let's go. And I think we only came across like one gem or one bug so I will show you in a moment oh let's go ahead and get our mail I believe it's the stuff that we got uh, cut let's see oh so I mean it was originally 66 now it's 82 so it's not that big of a difference oh ooh la la 400 Oh, only 10. I wonder what was the seed that we caught? So I'm guessing it's one of these unknown one. All right, let's let me show you what we found through dumpster diving. So from here on, oh, we didn't even come across any bugs, but we came across a dryer. I'm debating if we should keep this television set for our future house. Yeah, let's see, let's sell all of these. This is not bad at all. So we have about 16. All right, this is worth 1,200. All right, we're gonna keep that in case we want to put in our new place. And uh, regarding to that, after we age up Heath, I'll probably wait until next part so I can kind of figure out the whole money situation and see if we can actually afford it. All right, so let me go ahead and purchase a cake. 
because it's someone's birthday. All right, let's take a quick shower first because he is stinking like there's no tomorrow. And it is finally spring. So, you know, flowers are popping back out. We can see gems again. Thank God, I was so over winter. And, um, of course, Titus invited uh, his little friend because he didn't want to spend uh, his Sunday alone at home, just building his logic skills. So these two just been chit-chatting the whole entire time. All right, we're going to go ahead and blow out candles for Heath. Uh, talk about gardening. Okay, maybe we'll do that. Ooh la la. I feel like after this, we should hit back up the junkyard because we are like on a roll with finding such good items. But I'll see. I shall see. <gasps> oh, I was like, did she just get a slice of the birthday cake? We didn't even blow out the candles yet. But that's actually our leftover, so it's fine. She's just happy she gets to have cake for dinner. <laughs> Yay! So, because of his, you know, not turning in his homework and all that situation, I don't believe we get to choose a trait for him. So, one may get a sign. If it's not one that we're happy with, I will go ahead and change it. Yep, due to his indifferent studying, he got the perfectionist trait. Actually, that's not too bad. Alright, I will be going to the stylist to give him a makeover, and I'll probably do that at the end of this part. So, for now, we're just gonna stick seeing with what he has on. <clears throat> So are you gonna finish up this cake? Nope. What a waste. That's the first time I see a child waste a birthday cake. <laughs> All right, let's put this back in the fridge. Oh my goodness, he wants to visit Shang Tsinghua. Pretty much China. <laughs> it's pretty much China. All right, let's see if the unicorn is here. I don't think he appears until, I wanna say like 8 p.m. So I'll keep an eye out. If he does appear, we're definitely going to go try and get him to join our household. I think we have enough to um, finance, or not finance, support a horse and his necessities. So I'm not too sure. But I'm going to have Heath uh, make his way back to the junkyard. And do another dumpster dive for like another hour or two and then see if the unicorn appears if so we will definitely make our way to the pond so let's see in about two minutes oh he is there all right so definitely do the junkyard first and then hit up the unicorn and do the whole like you know trying to adopt him situation and i'll pick back up when i actually get to go through with the adoption option yeah <laughs> so last night did not go as planned the unicorn did make an appearance at the pond we even became bff with him oh by the way his name is canon pretty sure you guys know by now i should start addressing him as canon instead of the unicorn uh but anyways uh, Cannon kept saying we have to befriend all creatures, and I swore I did test runs. We should have been able to invite him to join or get him to join our household, but I will befriend one more creature, either a cat or a dog. If that works, great. If not, I will be using cheats to place him into our household. It's just taking a too much time. Uh, but anyways, with that said, Last night, before we visit Cannon, we came across another 2,000 simoleons worth of junkyard uh, dumpster diving. And I swear, last night was like our night or our day for the junkyard. It was so ridiculous. All right. So it is his graduation time. I wish I can prevent him from going. I don't want him to go. Stay, please. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Alright, so yeah, okay, he didn't have to go perfect. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and pay our bills, and we did find a 700 something simoleon um, gem. I went and got it cut. Hopefully, it will be worth a lot. 
So let's see. I think it got delivered. Yes, it did get delivered. All right. Let's see how much it is worth. Shiny, shiny gem. Oh, it was only 913. All right. I mean, it was 700 something to begin with, so it was still pretty good. Not bad. All right. So I believe I'll be wrapping up this part here. Um, there is no work or school today because he had the graduation to attend, causing Titus to stay home another day, which is fine. Um, but I will be playing a little bit off camera, like moving to a new location, finding a stray dog or cat to be friend with, because as of right now, there is none in town, so I'm gonna have to mess around. Also, just a few, like, you know, flower picking, gem hunting, and a little bit more dumpster diving, just so we can have some spare money and have a pretty cozy home. So, bye the start of the next part it will be a different location a different house just overall everything different but I will be throwing in um, Heat's makeover right after I say my usual goodbye so stay tuned for that uh, but overall I hope you guys did enjoy this part it was somewhat eventful we got like I said really really lucky with the whole dumpster diving thing hopefully we'll have that luck again today so, like always, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to comment, rate, or subscribe if you haven't already because you're not going to regret it. And I will talk to you guys in the next part. Bye, everyone.